not sure how I'm going to get back up. <laughs> Hey there, guys. We are off on another adventure. Yeah, this week we are in Wisconsin. We're going to spend a few days in Door County and then a few more days in Wisconsin Dells. Yeah, and if you guys have been following our journey, you know that this year we are taking several one-week trips to kind of prepare for next mm -hmm. year's big adventure. Uh, starting January 1st, we still plan to hit the road in our camper van for a full year all across America, and certainly we want you guys to join us for that. But for now, we better get started on today's adventure. Let's go. Let's go. And our first stop is Cave Point County Park. It's known for its limestone ledges, underwater caves, and great views of Lake Michigan. Let's go take a look. itself is pretty small but has a half mile hiking trail with a lot of access points to the shoreline and the limestone ledges. Point County Park is the only known county park that is actually inside a state park. It is surrounded on three sides by Whitefish Dune State Park and of course on the fourth side by Lake Michigan. may not have been my best idea. <laughs> Well, Cave Point County Park was awesome. I loved it. I loved the, the waves rolling in and the sound they made as they hit the, the caves. They went whoosh, whoosh right? right? It yeah. So, it was so neat. It reminded me a little of Thunder Hole yeah, in Acadia it National did. Park, yep. didn't it, in uh -huh. Maine? Well, it was an awesome time out there. I really enjoyed it. Nice picnic. Mm -hmm. Weather's good. And since it's right next door, we're going to go ahead and take a look around at Whitefish Dunes State Park while we're here. I don't know if I'm in Wisconsin or if I have been transported to Hawaii. This is pretty amazing.
It's really neat just seeing the limestone ledges just kind of disappear and turn into that sand beach, wasn't it? Like right I know, next door. I loved it. And I love that walk along the lake. Oh, it was so the, peaceful, wasn't with, it? With the waves crashing in. But now we're headed to Old Baldy. And Old Baldy is the highest sand dune in the state of Wisconsin. So we're kind of excited to see what that's all about. So we are at the top of the tallest sand dune in Wisconsin, Old Baldy, 93 feet above sea level. And I gotta be honest, this was not what I expected out of a sand dune. Looks like we're in the middle of a forest. But as you can see, you turn around, there is some sand down here below us. Lake Michigan off in the distance. Paula, what do you think about this sand dune? It doesn't feel like a sand dune. <laughs> <laughs> at all it feels like a forest <laughs> kind of neat though it is neat so we have driven to peninsula state park where we'll be camping for the next few nights and we're excited about exploring here and the first thing we're going to check out is the newly built eagle tower let's go take a look so eagle tower is 60 feet high and there are 100 steps to climb to get to the top well, we're not going to count those today no, are we today. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a fully accessible ramp walkway that will get you to the observation deck as well so the original Eagle Tower dates back to 1914 and the current version that we're climbing today, which is tower number three, opened just last year in 2021. Yeah, we were here a few years ago and the second tower was closed due to safety concerns. So we're glad that it's open today so we can see the views. Yeah, we missed out last time, but today we're going to get it in. Right. It's open from May 1st to October 31st. And, and sometimes it's open during the off season if conditions allow for that as well. Yeah, and it's really popular, so you oh, can yeah. expect to have a lot of company when the you're out here. The parking was just jam-packed yeah. in there, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I did notice that there was some other spaces available in a picnic area that's nearby, right. so there are uh, some other options as well if the, if the parking lot's full. I gotta say, it's pretty cool. I think it's one of the best wooden observation towers yeah. that we've seen. Yeah, I agree. And I wanna get to the top and go ahead and see the views and everything. But I also gotta tell you, I'm getting hungry. Me too. So we're gonna take a look at the top and then we're gonna maybe find a spot overlooking the lake and then have some dinner and, and kind of call it a day. We'll check in with you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. We had a great first day, didn't we? We did. A lot of enjoyable things on the schedule for yesterday, and we ended the day uh, with a nice sunset dinner out at Tennyson Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Paula's homemade chili, and sitting out there just watching the sun go down was really, really nice. It was. It was kind of a perfect night for chili with with the cool weather and the in the sunset. It was really, it was really nice. But this morning we have headed to Sister Bay to eat at Al Johnson's Swedish Restaurant. And Al Johnson's is known for having Swedish food, mm -hmm. like Swedish meatballs and pancakes on their menu, and something you're not gonna believe on their roof. So we ordered Swedish pancakes, and that came with lingonberries as a topping. And then it finishes off with Swedish meatballs as the side. Yep, for breakfast. First bite. That's good. Never had meatballs for breakfast before, but it's kind of nice to offset the sweetness of the lingonberry and the maple. It's really nice. So we showed you what's on the menu here at Al's Swedish Restaurant, and it was delicious, wasn't it? It was good. Those Swedish pancakes kind of reminded me of like a thicker crepe. Yeah, had that they same really kind did. of consistency yeah. and feel to them and taste. It was really, really good. It was good, and the and the um, lingonberries tasted a little bit of like a tart 
cranberry, but it was good. But we liked the syrup a little better. We're just syrup pancake kind right, of people. Right, right. I'm going to say, I think Jimmy won on this one when he ordered that hot chocolate. Oh, man. It was delicious. That, that was rich cream. milk oh, chocolate so and homemade whipped cream on top. <laughs> yeah, it, was. it was delicious. And then Swedish meatballs for breakfast. They were good. <laughs> they were good. I uh, never had those before. and certainly have never had them for breakfast. Didn't <laughs> right. think of them as a breakfast item. But it was a really nice we side had to, give to, them a try. to kind of offset the sweetness of <laughs> right, the other things right. we were eating. So we showed you what's on the menu at Al's Swedish restaurant. And now we're going to show you what's on the roof. <laughs> so the other thing that Al's is known for are their goats on the roof. <laughs> so how that started was Al and a friend of his used to give each other prank birthday gifts. And one year his friend gave him a goat and actually put the goat on top of the roof by a ladder. <laughs> and ever since then, they've had goats on the roof. <laughs> they even have a parade at the beginning of tourist season where they have the roofing of the goats. <laughs> Al's is a very busy restaurant right. in Sister Bay. It's very popular. So if you want to come here, you either need to come early or plan to wait. How long was the wait, Jimmy? They said they can have waits up to three hours. That's not right. uncommon around 11 o'clock to have a three-hour wait. Right, and it's only open for breakfast and lunch. And so we got here actually right around... Eight, I think so. And we got we got in in ten minutes mm -hmm. and got our food and we're back out in time to see the goats uh, going up onto the roof, which happened around nine uh -huh. today. Uh -huh. Well, it's been kind of a relaxing day catching up on some things, but before we close out this episode, we want to go explore the Eagle Trail and then if we can get there before dark. Uh, take a look at the Eagle Lighthouse as well. Yeah, and these are both at Peninsula State Park near the Eagle Tower that we showed you guys earlier in this episode. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta agree with you, Paula. It was worth coming on out. Glad we didn't turn around. Right? <laughs> the trail was, wasn't much to see at first. We were in the thick forested area, but it has turned really cool down here by the lake shore. Well, that is pretty spectacular. You guys have watched our wind cave video or our episode from Goblin Valley State Park where we went to the Goblin's Lair. You know I'm not a huge fan of caves. I get a little claustrophobic, but these little tiny caves I can explore and have fun in. So that was a bit of a treat to be able to go into a, a little bit of a cave without having to feel like I couldn't catch my breath. <laughs> Well, we have had a fun couple of days so far in Door County, haven't we? We have. I love this area. It's so pretty and so much fun. What have you enjoyed most so far? Um, I'll have to say the roofing of the goats. I somehow watching knew them, you were going to say <laughs> that. Watching them climb up was so much fun. What about you? What was your favorite thing? Can I choose yours no, or do I have to pick a different that's one? That's mine. you got to pick a different one. That was the one I would have said, <laughs> but we'll go with Cave Point County Park oh, yeah. as a nice number two it was beautiful it was that was pretty cool loved everything about that as well yep. and there's a whole lot to love about door county and we've still got several things that we want to do before mm -hmm. we move on down to the dales but we're gonna to have to save those for the next episode so you guys are going to want to stick around for that 
But for now, that's our mission. What's your mission? We are off on another adventure. Right. Well, that's what I, was... <laughs> I thought you Are said... you kidding me? You we were... just went over <laughs> what you were supposed to say. <laughs> It was really, really cool. Loved our picnic time out mm -hmm. there. Weather was super nice today. Um, so since I don't know what I'm going to say, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> because the goats, while they do eat the grass, they don't trim it evenly. And so it does actually have to be maintained by uh, one of their members. <laughs> yes. Well, What's what... been your... Oh, I didn't know who was asking. You told me to ask you. I did? Okay. <laughs> 28 years of marriage. <laughs> I, tell, I, tell, I usually tell him stuff, and he never listens. Still, this one time he listens. Still interrupting me after all these years. <laughs> what's, so, what's so funny? <laughs> Always look where you're going. These things, <laughs> they'll get you real good. <laughs> they didn't get you. <laughs> they didn't get you real, real good at all. I look where I'm going. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure I just gave myself a concussion. <laughs> well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun-filled adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. One of the ways we do this is through a short faith-based thought for the day that I write. They take about a minute to read each day. They're free and they're available at finishlinefaith.com or facebook.com forward slash finish line faith. I hope you'll take a look.